Hey, um, my name is Christine. Um, I just had a quick Bible question. Um, I was wondering if someone could help me with. Do you have a minute? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, here, let me. Here, this is this is Valerie. Okay. Hello. Hi, Valerie. Yeah, I was just calling with a quick Bible question. I was telling him. Okay. Um, I, I'm I've been reading some on JW.org and um. I'm just a little confused about one thing, and when they talk about the gospel, which means good news, I mean, what is the good news? Right. No, yep. I, the good news, basically the good news, a lot of times when it talks about that, it talks about um, Jesus and the reason why he came down um, to die for our sins, and then the good news also that he himself Actually, it's a little hard to hear you. Could could you speak say a little louder? Oh no! Oh yes. Okay. Sorry, I'm a little bit better now. Yeah, that's better. Thank you. Okay, good. Good. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, yeah, it, and a lot of it is to do with like Jesus when he was on the earth too, and he had his own ministry. He went from village to village and um, house to house, and he actually preached about the good of God's kingdom, and he talked about what God's kingdom is and how that is in the future of mankind. And Jesus himself had a lot to do with it, because when he came down, he came down to die for our sins, so that we can have that good news of the kingdom in mm. our future for everlasting life. So, mm. and there's some... Um, where, you know, where did he explain what he meant by the kingdom? I know he said the kingdom is at hand. And he also said, um, if I'm casting out demons by the Holy Spirit, then the kingdom of God has arrived. But uh, where did I, I'm always thinking he's really talking about the messianic era, the, the new covenant, the gospel age, which was predicted in the Old Testament. Um, and since he said, don't go to the Gentiles, I, I'm thinking they should know what that means, you know, in that context. Um, is there any place where he... Um, you know, and I know you guys say the kingdom a lot. Is there any place where he talked about um, uh, the animals and plants in the beautiful paradise or um, a, a setting up a government? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. where? Yeah, do you have... And, and Dan, Daniel no, 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 you said Jesus talked about that. So, you know, I wanted to see what you where he ex kind of explained that it's um, you join an organization to... Um, so that you can get eternal life and live forever in a beautiful place with the plants and animals, you know, that like the pictures they show. Uh, where did he talk about that? Um, well, I'd have to look at, let me see if I can find here yeah because it is I mean it is absolutely incredible because it, it all stems back from the very beginning when you really think about things um, with Adam and Eve you know and how they were put on that paradise that was created for humankind to live on you know and then because what they did Adam and even they sinned they did not listen to God and when they sinned, that is actually in Genesis 3.15, that talks about the first prophecy, which related to um, Jesus himself coming down to save mankind. And when he saves mankind like that, then it can restore that paradise. Right. I mean, that was what Russell, that's how Russell um, made this long explanation out of just one word called ransom which means mm -hmm. just simply means actually to pay price to set free which in the context of the new the new testament would be to set free from sin death and the devil uh, it's not talking or describing anywhere in the new testament about a great reset where everybody's resurrected to have a chance in perfect conditions but you're talking so, a lot of words but i had asked you to tell me where jesus uh, talked about the kingdom as you guys define it, because I'm not familiar with that at all. 
You said he preached the kingdom of God. Uh Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. Do you have any scriptures about that? Okay, if you look at Luke 4, 43, mm-hmm. do you have that there? Um, well, could you just read it to me? I'll find it later. It, okay, in 4, 43, but he said to them, mm-hmm. I must also declare the good news of the kingdom of God to mm-hmm. other cities, because for this I was sent. Right, and he so. still doesn't, doesn't define what that is. And can you show me where he did preach about the paradise on earth and um, this government that 144,000 are going to be in charge of and everybody being resurrected for a second chance? He did okay. kind of warn about the afterlife sometimes, didn't he? His, he well, kind of talked about that a lot. Actually, you know what? It's kind of hard on just the phone call to do this. Oh, it's not at all. I, I'm enjoying it. Oh, I just wanted yeah. to ask, because in my Bible, I had read in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, what the good news is. You know that um, Paul got his message from the risen Jesus, you know? So you can kind of consider that um, new light. Um, he said, I make known to you, brothers and sisters, the good news or gospel, which I preach to you, which you also received in which you also stand, by which you also are saved, if you hold firmly to the word which I preach to you. For I handed down to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures. So he's not just saying that that's uh, a little factoid, you know, to make possible the good news of all these um, earthly things. He's saying that is the good news, because it has to do with being reconciled to God for those who are dead in trespasses and sins. You know, Jesus said, you ever, uh, unless anyone is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So it's really interesting that you guys talk about that so much. But he said, unless you're born again, you can't even see the kingdom of God. Well, born again, yeah, born again is really does pertain to those, yeah. of those that are going to go to heaven. Yeah, so why do you talk okay. about the kingdom of God so much? Because the earthly is part of the kingdom of God, isn't it? I mean, in the inside. Yeah, so he says it's you won't right. even see it unless you're born again because... Born again. Well, the, thing is, the thing is, is that the government, you see, the kingdom is a government. And did Jesus didn't translate. say that. Why didn't he talk about the government? Well, because there's other scriptures. Oh, okay. Have, what, what scripture do you, do you, what translation are you using? I, I like a lot of different mainstream ones. But again, I had asked you, where did Jesus, uh, you said he went around preaching the kingdom. If it's not even in scripture, what you guys well, say the kingdom it, is, it, where you said he preached it. Okay, so that's okay. just, that's what I was asking. And I don't, yeah, why did he tell okay. Paul the gospel was simply? How about, well, he, he mentioned different things. See, Paul, Paul came after, and, and Jesus, when he was talking about the kingdom of God, okay, he was still alive. Now, Paul's talking to them. Look at this this man, Jesus. He died. He was resurrected. And yes. he was pointing them. He was pointing them to the, to the kingdom of God and that it would be a heavenly kingdom. And it is a heavenly kingdom. We're not denying it. He said, this the is the good, is, this is the good news. And he got, could, it's. Could you, could you read Luke 8, 1 and go, 2? Go ahead. You, you have it up? It says, yes. Luke sure. Luke 8, 1. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It, this is Jesus. Shortly afterward, he traveled from city to city and from village to village, preaching and declaring the good news of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him. Right, and it still doesn't answer so, my question. After, Did let me ask you this question? Did Paul preach the kingdom of God? Of course. Okay, so where did he talk about the paradise and 
uh, in any of his writings, you know, we, he, he wrote a good part of the new Testament. He actually, um, saw and got his message from the risen Jesus. So it's kind of like Jesus, you know, talking really, uh, cause that's a pretty amazing thing, right. To be taught by the risen Jesus. Um, well, yeah. I mean, he had to let, yeah. he had to let the Jews know that there was something different now. They were no longer. Right. The right. God. So where did he, he preach the kingdom of God? Like you guys talk about, or a government, the only well, part we're, he, we're not following Paul, my dear, we're following Jesus. When we look at Matthew, yeah. um, Matthew 28, we're, we're following Jesus. Right, of course, but Jesus Paul, and, Jesus and is Matthew, speaking through Paul. Do you agree? Well, he's telling things. Yes, but we are yes. Following, we, are, we are, you know what? Yeah. He's telling us to make disciples. He's telling us to baptize people. He's telling us to tell people, observe the right. things that he has said. And, and those, that, those are things for Christians to do. It's not how to become yeah. forgiven that's, or how... But the Watchtower does teach that. It teaches that preaching ensures your own salvation. So that's really not part of the good news or the gospel of how well, you become reconciled to God is doing Watchtower stuff. And if you really think no, about it. No, that's, that's not what we're doing. Yeah. Why do they say that then? Preaching ensures no, your own salvation. I, I can Jesus show. Gave, it's in Jesus gave in 24 of Matthew. He gave an, a, a prophecy about what to expect. Right. And he said that there will be nation against nation, mm -hmm. earthquakes. Shortages. But on 14, he says, and this good news of the kingdom will be preached to right. all the inhabited earth for a witness to all the nations. Right, the right, promise. right. So this is what we do. This is right. what we're following Jesus. And preaching ensures and your own salvation, the that they, the they say. We have not just one chapter. We go through the whole Bible that gives us evidence. Well, not really. I, I find that in the literature, it, they repeat about 15 or 20 verses repetitively many, many times. It's And, and the point about 1 Corinthians 15 is telling you what the good news is. And it does not match up with Jeho what Jehovah's Witnesses say. Well, and uh, well, if you read... You know, what? you know what? If you look into different things like Isaiah, if you look under Isaiah when Jesus... There was that prophecy how he would be born. He would be given something. He was given a rulership. And if you look at a lot of the prophecies, there was always the I, there was going to be a seed. There was going to be someone that we were to expect to be the Messiah, and they would be a king. Of course. So, yes. Yeah. yeah so he said. He did talk about the kingdom of God when he came. He he didn't expound on it very much. He assumed that they knew the scriptures, and uh, he didn't describe it anything it's like Jehovah's Witnesses say, or your literature says. He certainly didn't describe, yeah. uh, he didn't mention the word organization, uh, anything like that. So I'm not sure why you guys think you preach the same could as you, Jesus. Could you, could you let me know what church you belong to? Oh, I, yeah, I meet with other Christians, but, you know, I'm, I don't promote um, us because... Uh, Paul said, "We preach not ourselves, but the Lord Jesus Christ," and uh, that's good, not really. The kingdom has to be preached. So where where does that go? Can the kingdom of God, Romans says, is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. In in Colossians, it says that uh, all believers have been delivered from the domain of darkness and transferred into the kingdom of his beloved son. So they were transferred into the kingdom, not in 1914 and after, but at that very time, Jesus said, if he was uh, casting out demons by the Holy Spirit, the kingdom of God has arrived. It's the messianic time. It's the time of Jesus. It's a time that the uh, Hebrew scriptures always pointed to. So yeah, he well, does rule and reign. He does rule and reign yeah. over all his followers. And it's a spiritual kingdom. You know. Yeah. Well, I think we, we just differ. We we differ. Yeah, because... but I just quoted some Bible verses. I know you you guys differ with those, and yeah. you know the Bible exhorts us to put our faith and trust in the person and work of Christ, well, not in. Exactly what we do. No, exactly as as. We're just doing it as a yeah. Thing. No, they teach the org come to Jehovah's organization for salvation, and I've never mm -hmm. seen anything like that. Even the word organization is not in the Bible. So. Do you do I believe it, that the word uh, YHWH, Yahweh, is in the Hebrew scriptures? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you believe? Who is that? 
Um, Christians believe it's God, and we believe God is multi-personal, as shown in the Old Testament when Jehovah right. appears. When Jehovah appears, oh, I'm fine with that. Yeah, when Jehovah appears, who do you think that is? Since no one has seen the Father at any time. It's Jehovah. Nobody has seen God at any time. Is it the Father who's appearing in the Old Testament? Do you think He appeared in the Old Testament, Jehovah? No. He's okay. Not, not in the not not as he's a spirit. Nobody could have. Okay. Seen so look up on the Watchtower Online Library. Type in in quote marks Jehovah appeared. And it'll bring you to all those verses. Sometimes he's called the messenger of Yahweh. Sometimes he's in the form right, of a right. man. Use yeah. It's no, it's the son because he's also called Yahweh and worshipped. And they said, "I have seen God." And uh, the Christians, since uh, the early church fathers, have believed that is the pre-incarnate son of God, who's also called Yahweh in those passages. So that's a yeah. whole interesting thing. We believe he is a multi-personal being, Father, he, Son, and he, Holy he Spirit. Yeah, yeah. Well, we differ on that. So I yeah. Him. Look it up. Yeah, Jehovah yeah. appeared. It'll kind of... Oh, I, I, I have. I have. You, you, then you would have known he appeared. You said he didn't. He, he never appeared. Nobody could see God. It says Jehovah he appeared. appeared. Not a representation. Not... not a, yeah. Just, no, well, I'm just not look gonna, it up. I'm not fighting. Okay. I hope you find the real gospel. It's so freeing. It doesn't have anything to do with a corporation in New York. Yeah. I hope you well, find it. That's your opinion, honey. No, it's so. the Bible teaches that. So yeah. well, they just ignore those verses. <laughs> they just well, notice I'm it sometime sorry. how repetitive they are with the verses that they use. So, okay. God bless well, you. Thank you. <laughs> See welcome. ya.